Hi yogis and welcome to practice. Today's class is all about Matsyasana, fish pose, and taking the seat of a teacher. Now we're going to do a restorative practice today and restore is different than yin in regards to your postures will always be a hundred percent supported today. So you grab what you need whether it's bolster, blocks, pillows, blankets, towels, so you're 100% supported and relaxed. If you fall asleep, great. Your body needs to have that restorative practice just to reset. And we'll hold a little bit longer. So we'll hold on the longer side of five minutes. So we're only gonna do five postures today, each five minutes long. So gather your props here. Pause the video if you need, just so you set up your space, and then I'll tell you the story of Matsyasana throughout practice. Let's begin. We'll start in supported bridge. So I'm going to use my bolster for the entire practice. I need to keep my uh, my house shoes on just so my feet are nice and warm. And then take the bolster or your prop or the blanket or your pillow to your sacrum. I like to sit on it first and then lay all the way down. Make sure that it is off of your lumbar spine. And then throughout the five minutes, you can keep your legs bent, you can knock them in, you can send your feet to touch, or you can extend your legs nice and long. Start to soften into your muscles, to your bones, release through your connective tissue, close your eyes if they're not already there. And listen to the sounds of your breath. Remember, the name of the game is to relax, to soften, to restore. Continue your practice here to soften and restore. Now the story of Matsyasana goes like this. So Lord Shiva was sitting along a river, sharing with his lover how he had just discovered the most wondrous practice called yoga. He described how it was the secret to salvation and enlightenment. It was a path to union, connection to the divine source. An 
And as he was sharing, Matsya, a very special fish, and an extra good listener stopped to hear what Shiva was preaching about. And as he listened to Shiva's words, his body mag magically enlightens half fish and half man. In that moment, Shiva became the first guru, the first teacher. And Matsya became the first cella, her student. Bend your legs if they're not already. Lift your hips. Remove your prop. Hug your knees in towards your chest. I'll take supported twist, a little supine twist. So I like to put my prop in between my knees and then send your knees to the left. Get nice and comfortable with your prop. Remember, always supported so we can relax and restore. Open up your arms nice and wide, throw to your palms up. Then distinguish, it feels right to step. Send your gaze up towards the sky to one shoulder and then close your eyes. In this moment, think about one of your most influential teachers or mentors. How have they impacted your life? What knowledge should they share with you? How has that knowledge changed who you are?
breathe in and breathe out. Simply pull your knees back to center and then drape them to the second side. So you find twist, easy twist. Now point your knees to the right. Stay unfolded through your chest. Remember to relax and soften. Restore. Now think about how you've been a teacher or a mentor to someone in your life. How and what knowledge did you share with them? How did you impact their life? Do a little body scan, soften, relax, restore.
Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull your legs back to center. Hug them into your chest. And gracefully come to a seat. Caterpillar pose. Similar to seated forward fold. You can always slide props underneath your knees. You can take a prop in between your legs. And then situate your forehead to your props. It's always nice to have full support underneath your forearms, your elbows. I'm going to use my legs here. Remember, 100% supported, so you have to build more props than do so. Get as relaxed and comfortable as you can and soften. So the story of Matsyasana helps us to remember that we have to be good listeners. It's impossible to learn something if you're talking. You'll miss the lesson. And then once we ingest this knowledge, our dharma is to share it. Pass this knowledge to others so they can too become enlightened and liberated. It sets them on the course of their path, their journey, by this transference of wisdom, of information, of knowledge. Do your body scan. Do you need to readjust to soften? To relax? To restore? Whatever that means. Shifting ever so slightly, adding or removing a prop.
Breathe in. And breathe out. And gently lift your upper body. Take your prop back behind you. We'll go into our final posture of supported fish. So send your prop in between your shoulder blades, your scapula. You can send a secondary prop underneath the back side of your head, your occipital ridge. Or you can omit it to open up through your throat chakra. Send your arms nice and wide. Take a nice little stretch in the anterior deltoid down the span of your arm. And again, soften and embed yourself into the posture. Notice if you're holding on to any tension in your muscles. Can you melt this tension away with breath and intention? Now this relationship of teacher and students is important. Remind us that we're all connected, that we all play a pivotal role in this dance of life. That as teachers, our dharma is to share knowledge. That is our service, our gift. Helps us to remember the impact that we have on people and how people have impacted us.
yogis, you're welcome to stay longer, to linger. You're ready to reanimate your body and rock to your favorite side. Gather yourself in a fetal position. and find your seat as a teacher. Thank you. 